I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you another application of calculus where we'll deal with an example based on business and economics. So we are going to talk about demand and supply, price elasticity of demand and how elasticity and revenue are related. Now it is demand and supply equilibrium is a major term which we'll talk about with the help of a simple example. So normally uh, in a marketplace, let us say, for a different price, as price, we normally take price on the y-axis. In the example which I have taken, uh, we have said quantity is a function of price. So anyway, by default, we put quantity on x-axis. Now, if you increase the price, then there are more suppliers. So as you increase the price, more items can be supplied into the market, right? So we say uh, the supply into the market increases with the increase in price. So the quantity of item in the market for consumers to consume are very, very high. And everybody is willing to supply material as we increase the price for them. On the other hand, if we talk about demand, people are ready to buy if you reduce the price. So once you reduce the price, uh, more and more quantity, people want to buy the material, right? So in the market, there is a state of equilibrium when both kind of meet. So this is the point of equilibrium. So at this point, if you know the price, uh, let's say, P of equilibrium and then quantity of equilibrium. So that is when we say that the market is kind of stable, right? So at this pay, uh, place, we know there's surplus in the market. Since more items have been supplied, then the consumers are ready to buy, maybe because the price is too high. Okay. So based on all this, we have some definitions here, which you can now read. Another topic which we'll talk about is price elasticity of demand. So from here you can see, if we reduce the price, then more and more items are being sold, right? Uh, so if that is true, then we say that the market is elastic in nature, right? So if more and more items are sold, then we say market is elastic in nature, but really what happens sometimes is that further reduce in reduction in price may not result in that much increase in sales. So that's where the revenue comes. Now, if you are reducing the price and large amount of items are being sold, then the revenue also increases, right? So till the stage revenue increases, we say, well, the market is elastic because we are really concerned about the revenues. But at a point when the revenue decreases, that is when the sales are not enough to really cause a positive trend in revenue, then that is a stage when the rate of change of revenue becomes negative and we say that the market is inelastic. So there are two ways in which we can see uh, elasticity of demand. So let's take up an example and discuss it further. So I have two examples, a simple multiple choice question on demand and supply. The question here is that QD equals to 51 minus 3P is a function of quantity in demand with price P. And QS is equals to 6P minus 12. So these two expressions are demand and supply functions for a commodity. The equilibrium quantity is, you have to figure it out, right? So uh, for simplicity, I've just taken uh, simple linear equations. The idea is to understand the concept. Now, in this particular case, if you have to sketch, since I'm writing quantity as a function of price, right? So, so if you have to sketch this particular function, you should be uh, writing P along the x-axis and the quantity along the y-axis, correct? So uh, 51 minus 3p really indicates that uh, as the price increases, 
uh, less and less quantity will be sold so if price is zero for example it will be 51 so that really dip shows the the demand curve right on the other hand the supply curve uh, is that if p is zero nobody is going to supply the non that makes sense so somewhere here it is going to start like this so what you notice here is that that is the point of equilibrium we are talking about right so we need to find this point so at this point both demand and supply curves intersect so we say qd is equals to qs so we'll equate these two equations we have 51 minus 3p equals to 6p minus 12 or we can write 51 minus becomes plus equals to 6p plus 3p or that is 63 equals to 9p 63 divided by 9 gives you the price uh, which is 7 times but you need to find the the quantity right the equilibrium quantity is what you need to figure out this is the price so to find the quantity we can substitute in our equation any one of them is good enough so let's see the quantity demand will be 51 minus 3 times 7 which is 51 minus 21 and that gives us 30 units as the answer so so the intersection of demand and supply functions is when this quantity happens to be 30 units right so that is how you're going to solve such a question now there could be a lot of things asked here when is there a surplus so so beyond this point you can see we have surplus so the suppliers have supplied a lot of materials since the price is pretty high but there are no people to consume it so we have surplus in the market so that could be another way of looking at it now let's move on and talk about elasticity and revenue the question here is the demand function for a product is p equals to square root of 450 minus x where x is between 0 and 450 discuss elasticity and revenue so let's start with uh, finding out the price elasticity of the demand so we'll find price elasticity of demand it is represented by eta and the formula as you know is p over x over dp dx so that becomes the formula right now we know what p is what x is in general we can write this and that's the derivative right so rate of change of of this price with with the product quantity so we could write this eta as equal to so price is square root of 450 minus x over over x divided by the derivative of this will be half of then this comes in the denominator square root of 450 minus x times derivative of x which is minus 1 right so so that becomes dp dx now uh, we could rewrite this taking it in the numerator that x comes in the denominator I could rearrange this and write it as uh, square root of 450 minus x so this is over x look here this is over x and this goes on the top so we have square root of 450 minus x right and we are left with minus sign and that 2 also goes to the top right so the 2 also goes to the top so we have minus 2 times all this now if you multiply that becomes a square so we could write this as uh, minus 2 times 450 minus x over x now open the bracket so you get uh, minus 900 
and that becomes uh, uh, this is minus 900 over x and there the x x cancels but becomes plus 2 so that becomes your formula for price elasticity of demand right the absolute value of this is equal to 1 we say we are in a state of equilibrium and if the price elasticity of a demand is less than 1 then we say it's inelastic and when plus elasticity is greater than 1 then the market is elastic elastic really means that if you're decreasing the price demand is increasing right and it increases enough that you get revenue increasing so that is how all the things are related so let's now figure out the state of equilibrium so in the state of equilibrium this magnitude has to be uh, one so so let's figure out when is it one so it'll be one when this absolute value uh, is one so absolute value of minus 900 over x plus 2 equals to one correct so that means the inside function could be either positive one or negative one correct so so both can work for you that is the whole idea right so so what is that value so at 300 if i write x if i solve this so at 300 this will becomes negative one and absolute value of negative one is positive one correct so so what we will do here is so to figure this out we could actually equate let me use the space here minus 900 over x plus 2 equal to negative 1 right then we get a positive value of x otherwise we get a negative value of x correct so if you solve this it becomes this side minus 3 and then when you divide you get 300 so that gives you x equals to 300 as the value is it okay so for x equals to 300 we get equilibrium perfect now so equilibrium is at x equals to 3 and at this time the revenue is kind of uh, uh, the slope will be will be zero so let me just sketch these functions for you so that it becomes makes more sense okay, let me make small sketches here so first as far as the price is concerned right so we know that the price indicates the number of units being sold so if price is pretty high number of units are going to be very less and as the price decreases the number of units increase so we have number of units here so number of units the quantity and here we are talking about price correct so that becomes your price function and as far as the revenue is concerned we have figured out that uh, and you know the price could maximum be 450 so for us this is 450 now somewhere in between somewhere in between uh, where it is kind of 300 so this point where it is kind of 300 what we notice is that the revenue is going to be maximum this factor the price elasticity of demand is one so before that it is increasing right so let me sketch the graph for revenue here so revenue could be just overlapping on this kind of like this okay maybe something like this is it okay where the peak appears to be at this point so this is your revenue function with price perfect so what you notice here is that for a price less than 300 the revenue is having a positive slope correct and then it actually becomes zero and becomes negative right so that is the rate of change of revenue with the number of items being sold so so what we notice here is that the market we can say is elastic when the price is 
greater than 0 but less than 300 and it is inelastic when the price is greater than 300 and of course it could be maximum 450 so those are the intervals in which the market could be classified as elastic or inelastic so this portion is elastic and here it is inelastic right and we have also seen here that as far as the revenue function is concerned revenue increases till the price of 300 right so so within this interval let me write use this space for revenue So what we find here is that the revenue increases even when the price is being lowered even when the price is being lowered more items are being sold and so revenue increases in the interval when price is from 0 to 300 and it decreases when it moves from 300 to 450 correct so this portion is inelastic so that is how all these quantities are related. So I hope that helps you to understand the basic concept. Uh, I'd like you to go through some of my related videos and uh, to get into details of this. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.